Hello. It's a really exciting time at the minute for me with my games, mainly because I've been working really hard on one in particular. It's for the Game Boy, and I'm calling it Squirrel Fools. And you might have seen the odd update um, over the summer, but I thought it'd be really good to do a proper devlog on it, talk through some of the mechanics, because if those mechanics and those problems took me absolutely ages to solve, then it might quicken the process for someone else out there who's using GB Studio to build it. So this is Squirrel Falls. It's a game that um, I have been planning for some time, but due to my inexperience with GB Studio, it actually stalled for a long time. But now I think I'm at the stage where I get how GB Studio works and it's allowed me to start putting my uh, game idea into practice. You play this little lovable character. You live, uh, you live in this town called Squirrel Falls. It takes its inspiration from Animal Crossing. And you actually go around um, delivering parcels around the town. Which is really good. It's a really uh, cute little idea. And I want to expand on it more so it's a bit more immersive. So you can go into people's houses, talk to the residents, explore objects and find hidden things within the game. But predominantly you are delivering packages around the town. And it's a great way for learning the layout of the town without even realising. So we start off with a little bit of a tutorial. And it asks you to find your house. So you can go around. Oh, by the way, here are the squirrels. You can actually speak to them and they'll randomly give you little uh, little bits of dialogue that eventually you can piece together uh, to start learning about the story behind Squirrel Falls and the secret that it keeps. So we find our house. Here is our house here. And... Um, it just basically teaches you, this tutorial teaches you uh, the basic controls of the game. And we can see from the map here that we have um, different sections of the town. We're obviously in the centre, which is where the town centre is situated. And then we've got these uh, other locations where you have to deliver to later on. So with that in mind then, let's start delivering. So in GB Studio... I had a bit of a problem working out how um, we could pick up a parcel from one location and the, uh, the house that it's supposed to be delivered to, that house knowing that it's the correct house. But I'll explain. So let's go to the shop. We go to the shop to collect our parcels and let's, let's grab one. Delivery for Mushroom Cottage accept or decline now this is th at this point it generates basically it generates a random number and that number corresponds to a to a house number around the town for example it could have i think it's generated a number two so house number two is mushroom cottage but how does mushroom cottage know that it's going to expect a delivery well all the houses are looking at this instant in time Right now, all the houses are reviewing the variables that are sat behind uh, this scene. And once they realise what house number or house name that uh, the next package is to be delivered to, then um, <clears throat> all the incorrect houses uh, know that that package is not for them and will be able to give you an appropriate message where if should we try to deliver. OK, so let's try and deliver to the incorrect house first. So off we go, off out. Don't forget, all the houses now know uh, where this package that we've currently got is supposed to be. So if we go to Acorn, Acorn Cottage, it'll bring up an appropriate dialogue message. This does not look, doesn't look like the correct house to me. OK, so if we were to scoot round further... Let's go round and round and round. Uh, Mushroom Cottage is somewhere up here. Here we go. Thanks. Okay, phew, the contents hasn't been eaten by squirrels. 
and acorns are earned. Acorns are like my uh, currency in Squirrel Fall. So the more acorns you have, the more money you, 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 you've collected during the game. Now, as you start delivering more packages, you start to learn more about the story behind the residents of Squirrel Falls, how they don't like the squirrels. And the packages you've been developing or delivering are, are parts of a machine um, to do something rather sinister. The game sort of takes a weird uh, and a quick turn and um, turn for the worst, I should say, uh, for the squirrels at least. So now you're left with a dilemma as as you start delivering more and more packages, you're left with a dilemma. Do you start? Do you keep delivering, knowing what your packages are being used for? Or, if we go back home, if we have a look in our own house, we have our work table. Okay, This is where we can sit down and work perfect if you need to open up parcels. So the dilemma is, do you keep delivering or do you start sabotaging the parcels? Now, this is a really interesting concept because not only do you have... Uh, the houses realizing what uh, parcels um, uh, sh they should be receiving but also now we've thrown in an extra element where parcels can be sabotaged but you have to go undetected so again there's a there's a, a random chance that your antics might be discovered in which case there's consequences as a result so the delivery system is quite an important one in the game, not only because it teaches you how to um, how to navigate the city and find your bearings. <clears throat> it also serves a really important purpose that my knowledge of GB Studio uh, is pretty good, I think, but I could not get uh, a timer running. So I couldn't have like night or day. So I had to find another way to chart the passage of time. And this came and this came with the uh, number of deliveries made. So as you're uh, the longer you play the game, obviously, the more packages you're going to deliver. So I'm going to I'm going to use that number, uh, that value of packages delivered to chart the passage of time. So things start to unlock further in the game the more you play it. So um, a certain key elements of the story will start to reveal themselves once you've passed, say, five packages delivered. OK, so the number of packages delivered is, is my way of tracking time throughout throughout the game. Let's deliver one more, shall we? Let's deliver one more. So I'm going back in the shop. OK. Go to the delivery. It's another one for Mushroom Cottage, but I'm going to decline it. I'm going to decline it because I want to show you somewhere else. Tree Stump Barn. OK, let's go. I'm going to accept that. OK, so let's go to Tree Stump Barn. I know whereabouts it is and it's along here. So this is the farming section of the game. And if we go up here, we can um, make another delivery. This package looks like it's been nibbled. OK, not a problem because it's expected. You soon realise that the residents uh, are used to this sort of uh, thing. Um, things being nibbled, eaten, pinched by the squirrels. Um, and you realise that this is the main reason why they don't like these these animals. But anyway, that's the um, a brief introduction into the delivery system. Um, that I uh, for my game Squirrel Falls that I'm currently developing in GB Studios. I'm going to make a, new, um, a series of these looking at each aspect of the game and explaining how the mechanics work. So subscribe and follow and um, hope to see you soon. Take care now. Bye bye.